killer disease, which is the number one killer of Americans. It also claims the lives of one in three women. Kelly Houlihan is a three-time SCAD heart attack survivor, and she joins us this morning to share her story. Mm. Kelly, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, so this, uh, you know, SCAD, part of it, the S part, it is spontaneous there. Uh, so obviously you didn't see this coming. When did you realize that you were having a heart attack? Um, it took my husband to basically force me into the car and bring me to the emergency room um, to allow for some tests to be done. Um, I was just in my garage, felt a big punch to the chest. Um, soon it followed by radiation into my jaw. And um, at that point, I really didn't know what was going on. I was 38 years old, extremely healthy, um, worked out six to seven times a week and a heart attack was definitely not on my radar. Yeah, why, and why would it be, right? You would think you're in uh, great condition and you didn't even believe it as it was going on. Your husband forced you to do it. I didn't, and you know, it, it. I can laugh about it now, but I literally was fighting with him saying, we have one kid in the pool, I have another <laughs> at a birthday party, and one who has a play date. I don't have time to go to the emergency room yeah. um, and take care of myself. Um, and to be honest and fair, when I did get there, you know, it, it took a long time to get some tests run, um, even just with, you know, the look of, of me and thinking there's no way. Um, the doctor even had a really hard time coming in and saying, I, I can't believe I'm telling you this but you are having a heart attack um, and it was due to a dissection in an artery mm -hmm. Kelly you're not saying anything any woman any mom doesn't say that I don't have time mm. I can't put myself first uh, what advice now going through this do you have for other women when it comes to heart health yeah, um, you know, that that was heart attack number one, and then two happened, and then three happened. And I think um, overall, you know, me being here and advocating is really just to tell everyone to just listen to your body. And if something doesn't seem right, it's probably not. Um, our bodies are absolutely amazing. Um, and, you know, if, if you have the ability to go in and get tested and, you know, advocate for yourself, I think that is just, that's really important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Important lesson. Kelly, we're glad you're all right. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being with us today. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be emceeing a virtual Go Red for Women evening of empowerment. It'll be at 4.30 this afternoon. You'll hear some really great stories of women in this health space starting up their new businesses. It, it's it's fantastic. If you want to join, uh, go ahead. Go to WCCO.com slash links to register for today. All February is part of Black History Month. We're taking some time to introduce you to ordinary people who are making a difference in their community. Today we